and good afternoon. My name is Professor Cindy Alvitre. Uh, I'm faculty here in the American Indian Studies program and uh, my affiliation is with the Gabrielino Tongva tribe who are the original people of Los Angeles County, Orange County, and the Southern Channel Islands. The original people, First Nations people of this area, the Gabrielino Tongva, were on this land or have been on this land for at least 10,000 years according to archaeological history. Here at Cal State Long Beach, we are built on the most sacred village of the Gabrielino Tongva people and that is a site, the village site known as, known as Pavungna. Pavungna translated means a place of the gathering and it goes back to the original creation narratives at a time when humans did not exist, so it's pre-human. But we now we have to look to what is the future of Pavungna? Um, how well informed are the students on campus, the faculty, the administration, and even expanding out from that, the, the citizens of Long Beach and the citizens in California and throughout in this problem of having a sacred site that is located within an educational institution. Will the university continue to maintain that respect and provide the access to the tribe so that they can continue to do ceremonies, that they continue to have a place to gather at? Or will development and the needs of the university, such as student housing and dorms, Will, or public, even public safety, will that override the status of Pavungna as a national register site, which is the highest level of protection of history and cultural, cultural sites in our country. It is the place where the spiritual philosophy of most Southern California Indian tribes emerged from. The rumors are is that it's a burial site that this is where the burial site was, and that's not true. That becomes more of an urban legend. Um, but it's, it's, it's a place that holds that sacredness. We have two sections of Pavungna. When we come in on Bellflower Boulevard and turn left onto Beach Boulevard, or Beach, which is the main entrance into campus, uh, you see the sign that says Cal State Long Beach. And that area is part of the National Register site and the intention of the university and the tribe under the Native American Graves Protection Repatriation Act of 1990, we have repatriated the cemetery, the ancestors from the cemetery that is affiliated to Pavungna. So we are in the process right now of preparing to rebury at that site. The larger portion of the land across the street, that's 20 plus acres, that's still very ambiguous. You can go there and you will visibly see the altars. You will see the ancestor pole with the red, white, black flags hanging from it. You will see offerings uh, around the, off, uh, the actual ancestor pole, that's the center pole that represents the, the human body and, and all those who have, have died. It's a way to honor them. And there's rocks or stones that are piled around it. And as you look at that, you'll see many different offerings that people have brought over the years. That area is contested space. That's, that's the question, that's the problem. I'm here, it's 2015. My predecessors have struggled and uh, been active to protect Pavungna. But what happens with the next generation? The only way we can really protect it is to make sure that people are educated. And how do you accomplish that? you have to use different venues to, to reach people. You can write about it, but sometimes the visuals and having people have direct experience coming to visit the site, there's many people who are not gonna have that opportunity to really visit the site. So this is where film becomes the visual and the, the verbal and the visual connect to a site that is so significant in Southern California and the history of indigenous California.